Today, I wanted to talk to you about on how I use my Quad Cortex to control Loopy Pro. First of all, I'm gonna look at how to set up the Quad Cortex to send MIDI messages out to Loopy Pro. I've set up the Quad Cortex in hybrid mode. So on my top row, I have scenes that control my main sounds. I have a rhythm sound. solo sound and my bass sound for when I do bass loops and I have a no C5 sounds And then my bottom row is dedicated to control Loopy Pro. I have my first loop start over dub, then I have a general stop for everything, then I have a start and stop and record button for my drum loops, and I have start stop record for my second loop. Okay, so what we wanna do is this. We're gonna go in preset MIDI out, and then we have on a, a button E, I have a control change type MIDI, you can choose it. I'm gonna go control change, CC stands for control change. I'm gonna go on channel one and I'm gonna go on control change number zero and the value is gonna be 127. My second button, the button F, is gonna basically the same but the control change is number one. Then I have on button G control change number two and then on button H, I have control C number three. And then I have my expression pedal here and that sends out control change number seven. And that is because I've reserved control chain four, five, six for other things in Loopy Pro, but you can assign whatever you want. One thing we're gonna make sure because we are connecting through USB directly is that we're gonna go in setting, MIDI settings, and we're gonna have MIDI over USB on because that will allow the MIDI from the Quad Cortex to go directly to the iPad. So that's how you set up the Quad Cortex. Now we just have to look at how to make Loopy Pro understand what Quad Cortex is saying. And it's very easy. All right, now the Loopy Pro side. In this setup, I have two guitar loops, one drum loops, that's the blue one, and one clap loop. So my clap loop is literally just to play this sample. I can loop it and And be cool. My guitar loops just take whatever comes from the quad cortex and they will loop it. If I put my octave sound on, they will loop the octave. Basically, they just take exactly what comes from the quad cortex and loop it. My drum loop, the blue one, instead takes what comes out of the quad cortex but then applies all these plugins and what that does gets the percussion loop from the guitar make it sounds a bit more like a drum i have another video where i explain that more in depth and you can check it here and now let's see how to get the quad cortex to control all of this it's really simple what i do is just go to midi learn click on whatever loop i want to control and then click the button i want to assign to that loop on the quad cortex as we had set up, the control change is zero. It's the only thing that Loopy does at the moment, I think, this is a little bug, it goes on hold. I just need to click there and make it on. And that will make it work as you expect. I can do the same. So I'm gonna say my second loop. I want it to be button H. I just click there, change to on, and that's it. My drum loop is my G button thing and then I wanna this stop button stops everything and plays everything I'm just gonna go click on that go on F and do the same 
then close and everything's all right so now if i click button e and that works this project will be available on my website you can download it for free and on the cortex cloud the preset that i use to control this will be available so you'll be able to basically just download this download that and be able to run the other thing i want to sign is this delay that i have in loopy that i use for a more ambient moment and for this i'm just going to move my volume pedal or expression pedal and that'll be all so now i can control that delay automatically the other sounds i have in the in this project are this synth pad this is basically just the pad is controlled via midi guitar so it takes the guitar signal transforms it into midi and then it goes through this synth it's called continua and it makes a nice pad the other sound i have is this synth this doesn't turn the guitar into midi but just i don't know how turns it into a synth i have another video about it right here and um that's basically all. One thing that I like to do is to connect my guitar to return one. In that case, I can have a different input level from my electric guitars. Of course, the acoustic guitar needs a little more lift and that allows me not to have to fiddle every time with the input levels. The only thing now is that the Quad Cortex has a somewhat limited uh, ability to be controlled by uh, MIDI. What I would like is for Loopy to send messages to Quad Cortex and turn on and off effects. But at the moment, I can only control things that are assigned to switches. And uh, because I'm using switches to control the loops and the sound, uh, I cannot really do uh, some of the stuff that I can do on my um, HX Stomp. Uh, although those capabilities, even in HX Stomp, came quite later on in the development like it took like a few updates a few years before they came so what i would like is that the midi controls for quad cortex would be for positions in the chain rather than position on the switches if the midi was for positions on the chain uh, that would open so much more possibilities i hope you enjoyed the video if you did remember to like and subscribe down here and if you have any question about all this, just let me know in the comments below and see you for the next one. Bye. Hey.